just to be clear, you're saying you know who killed Vince Bianchi? What's his name? That's a dangerous question, sweetheart. I'm going to need protection. I can assign officers to protect you if necessary. If necessary. Uh, will you tell Cupcake here that, that I'm risking my life just talking to you guys? The people that killed Vince would do the same to me in a heartbeat. I, I think that's really unlikely. I mean, most of those people aren't even around after all these years, so... What do you mean, years? Vince has not been gone for, for years. No. I'm sure what Detective Beckett meant to say... This is a trick. You are trying to trick me into saying things. Maybe Vince isn't even dead. No, he most definitely is. Well, then show me. If I'm going to tell you who killed him, I need to see his face first. I'm sorry, Harold, but that's impossible. Why? If Vince is dead, show me his body. Harold. No body, no talkie. Sir, by the power vested in me by the NYPD, I will personally arrange for you to view the deceased. You are a man of honor, Captain. Can we speak outside, Captain? Of course. Rookies. By the power vested in me? Castle, what the hell were you doing? I was trying to stop the meltdown he had when you stepped out of the 70s. By promising him a body that we don't have. He could help us solve an infamous gangland slaying. Maybe he's delusional. We already know he's delusional about what year it is. If we're gonna find out what he knows, he has to trust us. He needs to see a body. <sighs> Lainey's got something at the morgue. You know what else she's got? Bodies. Lots of them. Maybe one of them looks enough like Vince Bianchi. Don't even go there, Cupcake. 